Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to share chemistry E-set model paper. Potassium metal and potassium ions. So, when we consider potassium and potassium ions, here potassium consists of 19 electrons, where potassium ion consists of 18 electrons. So, they will have different electronic configuration and this chemical properties are different, but they contain same number of protons. So, option B is the right answer. So, potassium and potassium ions contain same number of protons. 5.85 gram of sodium chloride is dissolved in water and the solution made up to 100 ml in a standard flask. So, initially the weight of the sodium chloride is 5.85 so, let us calculate the molarity of the solution. So, molarity is equal to weight by gram molecular weight into 1000 by volume in ml. So, here the weight of the sodium chloride is 5.85. Gram molecular weight is 58.5. The volume of the solution is 100. So, molarity of the solution is 1 molar and in the second stage 10 ml of this solution is pipetted out into another flask. So, it is M1 and V1 is 10 ml. It is pipetted out into another flask and made up to with the distilled water into 100 ml of solution that means V2 is equal to 100 ml. So, the solution is diluted and we are supposed to find the molarity of the diluted solution. Here, the formula for dilution is M1 V1 equal to M2 V2 and we are supposed to calculate M2. M2 is equal to M1 V1 by V2. So, that is equal to 1 into 10 by 100. So, that is equal to 0 0.1. So, the molarity of the diluted solution is 0 0.1 molar. So, option A is the right answer. The concentration of 1 molar solution of phosphoric acid in water is concentration of the solution can be expressed in terms of molarity or normality. So, the apt word is normality and always the relation between normality and molarity is normality is equal to molarity into F factor or you can call it as N factor. Okay. So, here the molarity of the solution is 1 and here it is phosphoric acid that is H3PO4. So, the number of protons present here is 3 and hence N factor becomes 3 that is 3 normal solution. Hence, option D is the right answer. Which of the following is a Lewis acid? Lewis acid means it is an electron deficient compound. So, especially boron trifluoride is a Lewis acid. So, option C is the right answer. Which of the following constitutes the components of a buffer solution? So, buffer solution may be of two types. Acidic buffer solution and basic buffer solution. Always buffer solution is prepared from weak acid or from weak base and hence option B that is sodium acetate and acetic acid constitute a buffer solution. Especially it is good example for acidic buffer solution. Which of the following is an electrolyte? So, acetic acid is a weak electrolyte and the remaining are non-electrolytes. Calculate the standard EMF of the cell, cadmium and copper. So, EMF of the cell is equal to RPC 
minus RPA that is reduction potential of cathode minus reduction potential of anode. So, electrode potential of cadmium to cadmium plus 2 that means here oxidation potentials are given. So, we have to convert them into reduction potential. So, just we have to change the sign. And here copper acts as the cathode whereas cadmium acts as the anode and hence reduction potential of cathode that is 0 0.34 minus minus of 0 0.44 and that is equal to plus 0 0.78 volts. So option D that is the right answer. A solution of nickel chloride was electrolyzed using platinum electrodes after electrolysis. Platinum electrodes means inert electrodes. Here the solution is nickel chloride and hence nickel will be deposited at the cathode and chlorine gas will be liberated at the anode and hence here option D that is nickel will be deposited on cathode is the right option. Which of the following metals will undergo oxidation fastest? So, in an electrochemical series, lithium occupies top position and hence it undergoes oxidation more readily. So, option B is the right answer. Which of the following cannot be used for sterilization of drinking water? Ozone, calcium oxychloride that means bleaching powder chlorine can be used for bleaching or sterilizing the drinking water. So, option D, potassium chloride will not be used for sterilization. Water sample showed it to contain 1.2 mg per liter of magnesium sulphate. Then, its hardness is. So, hardness is equal to weight by gram molecular weight into 100. So, that is equal to 1.2 by 120 into 100. So, that is equal to 1 ppm. So, option A is the right answer. Soda used in the lime soda process for softening of water is chemically. Soda means it is nothing but sodium carbonate. So, option C that is sodium carbonate is the right answer. The process of cementation with zinc powder is known as it is nothing but shaddadizing. So, option A is the right answer. Corrosion of the metal is fastest in acidulated water. Option B is the right answer. Which of the following is a thermoset polymer? Urea formaldehyde resin is a thermoset polymer. Chemically neoprene is. It is nothing but polychloroprene. So option C is the right answer. Vulcanization involves heating the raw rubber with sulfur. So option B is the right answer. Petrol largely contains. It contains hydrocarbons ranging from C5 to C8. So, option A is the right answer. Which of the following gases is largely responsible for acid rain? Acid rain is mainly caused by the oxides of sulfur and nitrogen. So, option A is the right answer. BOD stands for it stands for biological oxygen demand. So, option C is the right answer. The valency of valency electronic configuration of phosphorus is. So, atomic number is 15. That means 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p3. So, the valency configuration is 3s2, 3p3. So, option A is the right answer. The number of neutrons present in the atom. So, neutrons is equal to A minus Z that is equal to 137 minus 56 that is equal to 81. So, option D is the right answer. A 
an element with atomic number 12 combines with an element B atomic number 17. Atomic number 12 means its configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. So, outermost orbit contains 2 electrons. Coming to the element B, its atomic number is 17 and configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5. It is short of one electron. Here two electrons are present. So it forms ionic bond and it is having the structure AB2 type. So option B, ionic AB2 is the right answer. Hydrogen bonding in water molecule is responsible for due to hydrogen bonding each and every molecule will associate and hence always there will be an increase in the boiling point. So, option B is the right answer. In the HCl molecule, the bonding between hydrogen and chlorine is. So, it is polar covalent bond. So, option C is the right answer. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.